And welcome back to our Let's Play of Demon's Souls. I am Chubby Cheeves, it, the latter half of the Three Heart Runners, and I want to apologize to anybody who might possibly be watching this regularly because we have been doing a lot of other projects and been getting ready to set up for um, one of our special special projects, our Let's Play of Ocarina of Time. Um, everything that you've seen so far that we've posted up has been basically a nice test for that sort of thing, so let's get into this video and see what happens. And of course the first thing that you're going to be seeing here is that after we've killed all of those evil demons that this door finally becomes unlocked. You only have to can kill one master demon, I guess is what they're called. Um, the first one most people do is the dragon god, but it doesn't really matter. I've killed basically all of them so far before I've even entered in this doorway. Um, I do that because it makes this area a lot easier to um, to deal with. So, anyways, I uh, this is one of my favorite areas of the game. I've spent quite a lot of time in here because this was pretty much one of my first full um, areas that um, that I would uh, that I would grind through um, to gain souls when I first played through the game. Now I I know I don't need to grind like crazy because I know how to uh, spend my points properly and whatnot. But the first time I actually played through this game, I played through this level several times to grind, and I didn't I didn't realize that there were other better places. Um, I knew of some better places, but I never really knew how to do them. So I used this one, and you could run through here and get 30, 40, 50 thousand souls and be just fine. But that's not our purpose for this. The purpose of, of this play, of this playthrough here is to do two things. Is to rescue the witch, um, which we need her to teach us a spell so we can kill the man-eater. And also to beat this level because we're only a couple of levels away from the grand finale. So we're going to dodge that and the video is going to slow down because this has frame rate problems for some reason and we got another cinema here with this purple douchebag. He's going to run away like a pussy because he's a pussy. And these guys aren't too terribly hard so like I said you'll see me fight a couple of them in this level. And he screws over his buddy. What an asshole. Wouldn't do that to any of my friends except for maybe two of them. Anyways come over here immediately and kill one of these stone baby dragons. They give you some good shit. And like I said at this point I'm pretty decked out. And and a lot of people who play through this game, like I said, have spent a lot of points on their health and stuff. And as you can notice, my health is not all that high. You do take quite a bit of damage, but you can take a couple of hits. I have spent a lot of my time putting, you know, all of my stuff into dexterity, so... And strength and that kind of stuff. So my character is actually pretty strong, so... I pretty much just kill all these guys in one hit. But anyways, like I said, no big deals. Uh, when you come down here, you got to be a little careful because uh, this guy down here can do some serious damage to you with his kick attacks. So I miss and get hit, and he almost kicks me, and then I slice a couple of times and miss, and then I kill him finally. So I'm going to walk around this corner after I pick this up right here. And you see that I pulled out my bow immediately, and it's really nice because I actually finally can uh, hold all of my items and... Uh, and roll now that I've spent enough points in uh, endurance. All you do is just shoot them, roll, shoot them, roll, and no big deals whatsoever. Anyways, you got one more guy up over here. I usually like to get it to the point where you could only see his head, and you can shoot his, shoot him in the head a couple of times because he can't hit you because he always ducks. And we'll pick up another unknown demon soul. There is some stuff up that ladder, but I don't particularly go after that all that often it's really not that big of a deal um, this next part you need to be particularly careful because got a couple of another one of these ninja dudes and also this guy is going to roll that rock down the hill that's on fire um, like I said these guys can do damage to you so be careful they throw things and then they come and they kick and they do all sorts of crazy stuff but they're weak so if you can get a good stab or two quick sword slices with them, then you're okay. And there's three of them that usually come down here. There's one that's a little bit further up, but you can draw him out if you're careful enough. Um, 
Now be careful uh, when falling back if you get have issues fighting this guy, because what can end up happening is you can walk back into that stone which I that that was on fire, which I've done several times, and get killed by it, and that's rather enraging. Now this is where you can draw out the other the other guy. Don't run forward, or else he'll come down and he'll attack you from behind and kill you. No big deals there. No big deal at all. Anyways, I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna go ahead and make an announcement now. Um, I'm trying to get rid done with of these uh, of this let's play here really quickly because I'm gonna announce my next let's play. I'm gonna be doing another RPG that's pretty much a style. I'm gonna be doing the original Diablo, which is my favorite game of all time. Um, I'm doing it for several reasons. Um, one, because well, it's my favorite game of all time. I've never I I, I think it's the best RPG of all time. Um, and also. Um, because Diablo 3 was actually just released, and I think that, that this this would be a great way of getting people who may have never played the original Diablo 4, or Diablo, um, the chance to see what it's like, and possibly actually get out and play the game. Because there's most people think Diablo 2 is a lot better than D1, and I just think that's not the case, but I will uh, talk a little bit about that when I am playing the game. And then, of course, after Diablo, I'm going to do Diablo 2. I'll do, do a run-through of that. And then, um, if I can get Diablo 3 to work a little bit better on my computer, I'm also planning on doing a run-through of Diablo 3 as well. So we'll have a nice little run-through of all of them. Now, as you can see, I walked around this corner and uh, enchanted my sword and ripped through these guys here really quickly. It's really nice when you know things around the corner. And that's one thing that I like about this game, too. Um, a lot of like open world games you get a lot of randomness with you know the characters and whatnot but in this game it's like old school games all the enemies are always in the same place all the time so you know where they are so you can get so you can practice getting good at the game and that's one one thing that that makes that gets you good is practice but also at the same time when you do things like this you can I mean just like that I mean he was right there and I knew he was gonna be right there um, but as I was saying um, you can, uh, with, with when you d design a game like this, you can make the game super hard. With games that have random enemies all over the place, you really can't make the enemies super strong or, or have super strong attacks because you, you're just going to get eaten alive. But, uh, anyways, I think this next part I was trying to show off to a friend and I almost ended up dying here. But I don't remember. I've done this, I do this part several times because I really like it because all of these guys are standing up and I just go crazy. Either that or I did a really good job, so. No, I can't pretty much kicked their asses. So, no big deals there. There's, yeah, there was, I, I usually do a really good job and I make that look all impressive and stuff with my rolling and stuff. I was actually playing with a friend the other, the other day and... I'm like, here, watch me do this part, and I started, and I started doing the part, and then I, guys walked up to me and sli all sliced at the same time, and I missed all of them, and then they killed me. And he was like, is that what was supposed to happen? I was like, no, I was supposed to kick their ass. But, I got my ass kicked. That's what I get for opening up my mouth. You see a lot of my attacks that I go in when I'm going to get hit with these by these enemies, too, which is pretty funny. But like I said, I'm strong enough, so it doesn't do a t too terrible amount of damage. Now, when you walk up there, you're definitely going to want to... You're going to want to jump down to the edge, because that rock will kill you. And I waited and took advantage of the stupid AI for him to fall down and whatnot, so... Sorry if I sound a little, little bit. My nose has been stuffed up lately. So... Anyways, I popped that up again because I got another red-eyed demon over here with, with a two-handed sword be a little bit of a pain in the ass. But kicked his ass. Funny story, um the first time I played through this I had issues with this level and I kept getting killed and whatnot. And of course as we all know the tendencies of the levels go up and down whenever whenever uh well, up or down when you go die, they get darker when you die. And in this area right here, um, if you have pure dark, two big giant red demons will f will fall, will, uh, will will show themselves there. And they're the big fat dudes with the big uh with the big sword, with not the big swords, but the uh, 
the big axes, and they just walk towards you, and it's 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 pretty much a death trap. You you really can't get through that unless you're like super awesome. And I'm good at this game. I'm just not super awesome at this game. So when that happens, I die every time, and I got to make sure that I avoid that at all cost. Not in this one, of course, because I'm not a pure dark. I only I actually end up doing that at some point because I uh, because I actually wanted to. Um, get a get a another colorless demon sword. Um, I was planning on showing you guys how to do that, but you can get online and figure that out. And plus, I actually lost the video of me doing that, so that's not going to be shown. But I am going to let, let you know that I did go and killed another color, uh, another one of those uh, arch arch demons or whatever, um, so I could get a uh, colorless demon soul. Anyways, we'll open up this gate here. Now that I've done that, I've actually, if you've been paying attention at all, you've noticed that I've picked up several keys, which is what we're going to do now. We are going to be heading down to one of the dungeons so we can get one more key and, uh, and release a good friend of ours that we've never met. How can he be a good friend of ours that we've never met? Well, he's just a good friend of ours because he helps us kill the boss. And this guy, if you release him, makes the boss of this level incredibly easy. He's not that hard to begin with. Um, when you uh, when when you fight him without him, but you know, having somebody to distract the boss really helps. Kick this guy's ass, and we go in the door right here, and we will head down these stairs. This is our friend here, and with this, I'm gonna go ahead and let him talk, and then we will see you on the other side for the next episode. I have been Chevy Cheese, and thanks for watching. We will be having the rest of these episodes up shortly. You guys, take care. Thank you. You deserve a handsome reward. Only I have none. Go on ahead. I shall sleep a while.